does. Good hands from Maurice. Hi guys, and today we're going to be looking at Dave Jan Lovren's worst pieces of defending all season. I've pretty much known he's been a bad defender for a long time, but it's come to people's attention recently. And so I just wanted to show you guys a bit of analysis on why he is so bad. By the way guys, please don't send Lovren any hate for this. He may be a bad defender, but he still doesn't deserve to get death threats to him and his family. That's a low life thing to do, so just, yeah, just don't do it. It may seem like a, a threat to you and just a bit of banter, but to him, he might not know whether he's actually going to come to his house and do something to his family, so, so yeah. Nevertheless, I still hope you enjoyed the video. We'll look at his first match, Liverpool's first match of the season against Watford. I will just watch this clip right here. To Lovren. Oh, Kaka scores the header from the corner. Let's let's go back to Lovren. So um, swings in the ball. Lovren is just standing there. He's literally he's ball watching. I don't know what he's doing. Who is he marking? Who is he marking? He's jumping around. Who's he marking? Is it zonal marking or something? Well, it's not clearly not works because he's let Akaka run straight through free. Firmino is not really a type of guy that should be marking Akaka. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. So this is Watford's second goal. Akaka gets a ball. Look at Lovren. He gets turned so easily. And then he falls straight to the ground, trying to slide tackle, and he just flops. Misses the tackle completely. You see this as a repeating problem for him later on in the season. He has a turning circle of a truck. So this is Watford's third goal. The ball comes swinging in, and there's a, like, a mess in the box, and then Lovren just standing there. Again, marking no one. Chala was free, Amrabat is free. Even if Minule had got it away, they would have gobbled it up. And Lovren's just standing there, looking at the ball. <laughs> this is uh, Liverpool versus Hoffenheim. Uh, and this is in the tenth minute of the match. Uh, look what Lovren does. It's just so bad. He he fouls the player and then he falls over. You'll see that he he manages to fall over quite a lot for some reason. But you, if you watch this again, he's losing his footing and he fouls him and gives away a penalty within ten minutes. I don't know why he's a professional player. He's getting beaten by Serge Gnabry. This just doesn't get anywhere near the ball. His balance is horrific. Okay, look at Lovren in this situation. It's uh, the reverse fixture of the Hoppenheim game I just showed you. Liverpool are three in a lot, comfortable in the 28th minute, and Lovren decides to be aggressive to the person with the ball. Has to make Moreno cover him onto uh, further uh, centrally, and then Moreno leaves Uth free, and then Uth just like slots it in. This is Hoffenheim's second goal. Lovren once again. Look at how he jumps. How tall is this guy supposed to be? He's one meter eighty-eight, and he jumps like that. He, who's he marking? I don't understand. He's trying to mark two people at once, and he he doesn't even get off the floor. I could jump higher than that, and I'm five foot four. <laughs> this is Liverpool's uh, first Champions League group stage match. 
first five minutes and look what Lovren already does. What on earth? That was one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. Like, you just stand there and you stopped it. Why are you on the floor again? This is Sevilla's second goal. Look at Lovren. Ball watching, turns like a truck, lets him in. Lovren's bouncing around and being passive at the wrong times and aggressive at the wrong times. So bad. So this is Leicester versus Liverpool in the Premier League. Uh, this is Leicester's first goal. Look at Lovren again. He, he has no idea where the ball is. He, he makes a 180 turn and then realises the ball's heading towards the net. Standing around, doesn't know where the ball is and it's already in, in the net by that time. Lovren, just in this goal, just stands around trying to block it. To be honest, it's a bit unfortunate, but he is really just like standing there trying to block the shot when there's already another player doing that. And it allows Leicester to potentially start a comeback. So Yosselu is running through and goal at this point. Lovren stops. Why are you stopping? If he had continued that run, he could have stopped it off the line. Look how the ball went in. And yet he decides that he doesn't want to put in the desire to be a professional footballer that earns £100,000 a week. This is the infamous match. Tottenham versus Liverpool at Wembley. So this is Tottenham's first goal. First five minutes. Just a normal ball over the top from Trippier. He doesn't jump at all. He lets it fly over his head. Notice how he doesn't jump here, by the way. Keep that in mind. He just lets it go of his head. He looks at the referee as if it was offside, even though he doesn't realise the offside trap failed. And he keeps looking at the referee, even though he's made a fatal error. This is their second goal. Luis catches a routine, like... A routine save and he throws it straight to Kane as Lovren decides to do some Superman jump from the halfway line and he just misses the ball completely. Why did he jump in this situation? Why is he there? You're one nil down. It's not the 95th minute Champions League final. Appalling. Ooh. You were hard, showing off. This obviously led him to be substituted in the 31st minute and he hasn't played for Liverpool since. Apparently he's got injured but by the looks of things he won't be at Liverpool for very long. Thanks for watching guys and I hope you like this new format. If you have any improvements I should make to it, please tell me in the comments down below. Cheers.